It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Arizona Cardinals. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. Uh, CD, big changes underfoot here in the desert for 2023. Most notably, new coaching staff. But I guess change seems inevitable when you come off a 4-13 and season, does it not? Absolutely. I think you're perfectly on track with that. And I think some of the change is going to be on offense where they were a little more wide open. But now, a bit more buttoned up, I would anticipate. And on defense, head coach, that's his background. I think he's going to throw a lot of different things at teams trying to keep his team in contention. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, the wait goes on for a Super Bowl appearance. This will be the 28th season since they last won Super Bowl 30 in 1996. Let's add on to that. They haven't even been to an NFC Championship game since 1996. And you know, that does not sit well in the owner's box for the Dallas Cowboys, continuing to try to find their way back to the top of the mountain. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time, and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions in only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. And Dak going to start out going to the air. He'll find Lamb crossing the formation for the catch. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And the Cowboys are going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. Returning it is Moore. No score after one on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they finally get their chance on offense, first and 10. To throw is Dobbs. Pass to Brown, he's got it on the crossing route. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now second and five. Here's Dobbs to throw. And that'll 
will be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Dobbs. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. First down, Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Prescott. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now a second and ten. Here's Prescott. Complete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Prescott now. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Prescott on first down. Throw out wide is incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and ten. And again, it's Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. I don't think there's any other way to frame it other than this. That's a disappointing end to a good opening drive and definitely not what they're looking for on the road. You mentioned a good opening drive. You're right. They were able to move the ball, picked up a few first downs. In the end, though, they come away with nothing. 
Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. A final shot before break. Dobbs. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up Not with Jonathan Coachman in terms of for plays. EA Sports Halftime Report. There's nothing to show you. A scoreless tie here at the half. Both of these defenses have been outstanding thus far. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. For the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now where one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. Now the veteran workhorse. Here's James Conner. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. Then everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Throwing here, Dobbs. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. Dobbs. And that's complete to Brown. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Pulled in at the 24. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? 
and he's already relayed that to his quarterback in his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 34-yard line. Here comes second down at five. Prescott. Able to find Gallup. And he'll give him a first down up past the 40 as the clock ticks on. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and 10. Here's Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Ferguson. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's first and ten. Now Prescott. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They've just likely won this thing in regulation. And that score, in this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie, isn't it? <laughs> Out of nowhere, almost, it appears. They get it done. How about that score? The finishes like this, this is why we love sports. This is why we love the game of football. So glad that we got to be here to watch this one. Extra point attempt to follow here. And this is up and good to make it 7 nothing Cowboys. So that drive, four plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Well, now how about this return? And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. throw deep downfield and it's incomplete so their final drive comes up empty and with that the ball game is over so this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys and not all W's are created equal CD and this one came in shutout fashion well their offense certainly didn't need to do anything right they could take the day off and they did but the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense, obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load.